Good day everyone. Welcome to School Media Edufa's YouTube channel. My name is Bao Sira. We're going to be talk talking about introduction to crystalline of solid. Objective by the end of the class, we should be able to know what a solid is, classification of solids, types of solid, crystalline solid, properties, features, and examples. Solid. Solids are the substance in which the particles are rigidly placed. Solids have definite shape and definite volume. Solids are incompressible. Crystalline rocks or solids. Crystalline are rocks. The metamorphic rock, such as marbles, mica schists, and quartzites, are recrystallized. This means that they were at first fragmented rocks like limestone, shale, and sandstone and have never been in a melting condition nor entirely in solution. But the high temperature and pressure condition of a metamorphism have acted on them by erasing their original structures and inducing recrystallization in the solid state. Classification of solids. In this slide, solids are classified into crystalline solid, amorphous solid, as shown in the diagram. Crystalline solids are a regular arrangement of properties of particles. Irregular or random arrangement of particles is the amorphous solid. Regularities and irregularities of the composition of solids. We've, we've seen that the crystalline is packed no space the molecules are compacted why the polycrystalline which is part of a crystalline but exhibiting an amorphous characteristics amorphous characteristics are dispersed in a way now before moving forward let's know what an anisotropic is crystal is or why are crystals seen as behavior or behaving as anisotropic? From the figure, it is clear that arrangement of atoms in AB is different from that of arrangement of atoms in CD. Therefore, these structures have different physical properties in different directions. So it is anisotropic. The AB is looking neatly compassed while the CD is looking dispersed. Next, crystalline solid. A crystal or crystalline solid, the solid material which constitutes such as atoms, molecules or ions, are arranged in a highly ordered microscopic structure, forming a crystalline lattice that extends in all directions. A crystalline solid is one in which the molecules or atoms are arranged in highly ordered, that is, repeating patterns. Most solids are crystal. You see that they are in shapes or they are in plates, packed together. The smallest repeating unit is called a cell, which is, I think about, think of a honeycomb. You see small, small rooms. It's like that. Or a copper phosphate or a pentahydrate that has five water molecules included in each of the cells. Now, an anhydrous crystalline solid are completely free of water. It is sodium chloride, which is salt. When you look closely in the microscope, you will realize that salt is a crystal, but introduce the water into it, it dissolves. Feature of, of a crystalline solid, some crystals have formed by magnetic and metamorphic processes, giving origin to large masses of crystalline rocks. The vast majority of these igneous rocks are formed from molten magma, and the degree of crystallization depends primarily on the conditions under which they solidify. Such rocks as granite, which have cooled very slowly and under great pressure, have completely crystallized, but many kinds of lava were poured out at the process. The surface and cooled very rapidly. 
And in this latter group, a small amount of amorphous or glassy matter is common. Other rocks crystals have found or formed out of precipitation from fluid. Yes, commonly water, for instance, ice. Ice, in its solid state, it is crystal. But whenever it is being melted, that is, heat is being asserted, temperature is being asserted in it, it dissolves. Others are gymsons, limestone, that can be decomposed in their aqueous solutions, mostly owing to evaporation in arid climates. Now, activities. There are countless of crystallines. What are other crystalline materials and how do they behave in their intermolecular bounds? Hardness, melting point, luster, fracture, textile, strength, and ductile. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye.